put just put the insulation in and about to put the plywood backing with a plastic backing behind that uh, to waterproof it from condensation. Probably extremely hard to see, but there's the insulation. A little wooden frame for the window. So here we are at the end of the day. Put the side panels in on both sides there. Alright, here we go. Cutting a hole, the scary part, you know, the van with my dodgy ass grinder here, taped up, no switch. cupboards here to house the grill, the fridge, the sink, and gas tank and hot water system. So that's all moving along, moving along nice and steadily, like on the TV show. Um, yeah, so now I'm about to chop a hole out here to put a hatch. And I've never chopped in a fiberglass before, so I'll either be smiling in 10 minutes or crying. Oh, and then uh, also too, I put the windows in. As you can see, they're nice little ones. <laughs> hatching, first I must clean around the top, once it's clean around the top I've got this uh, gooey sticky stuff you get from the hatch supplier or any motorhome supplier, it's like a, you know, it always stays gooey so it keeps it, keeps it nice and dry between the joints, uh, once I put that in, I've knocked up this frame, make sure it goes in here, Jeez, it's dusty. Screw that in, put the screw holes in from the top, and away we go. Where We've got does, some air. Where does that gooey sticky stuff go? <laughs> the gooey sticky stuff goes around here, the edges of it. At the top. It sits on the top, put the screws in, and then you seal it around the edge.
let's see if she opens. Ah, lovely. Let it be light.